Hello, my name is Dion. This is part A of tutorial 1.1 in a series of tutorials on how to use the KiCad printed circuit board software. It is based on tutorial 1.1 on a blog, the particulars of which is in the particulars below. The circuit we are going to make a printed circuit board from is the LTC1624 LT Spice simulations circuit from analog devices. Although it is not necessary, if you want to take part in the simulation, you can also download LT Spice simulation software. I will just show you how the web page looks like. If I just can find it. This is how the web page looks like of analog devices from which you can download the LT Spice simulation software. I also provide the particulars to this web page or the link to this web page in the particulars uh, below. Now, to download the, the particular circuit, open your web browser, again on a new page, type in LTC1624. LT Spice simulation. Click on the LTC1624 demo circuit. As can be seen, the LTC1624 demo circuit downloads. Click open. And the circuit that we downloaded, the simulation circuit of the LTC1624, opens in LT Spice simulation software. We need the software to, to be able to see the, the circuit. I have, as can be seen in the circuit, it has a 3 amp load over here. Uh, I have replaced this 3 amp load with a 4 ohm load resistor. The circuit looks like this. It can be seen that on the output there is now a 4 ohm resistor. R5. The reason for this is to limit the current to under 1 amp. This circuit is a step down circuit and an input of 12 volt is converted to an output of 3.3 volts. As mentioned, it is implemented by using the LTC1624 from Linear Technology. The LTC1624 is a switching regulator. Okay. Open KiCad. Uh, first, we are going to do the page settings. Click on the schematic layout editor. It is the icon with the transistor and two resistors. A schema opens. It is a window 
that is a page that has a drawing sheet and with a square in the lower right corner. You can fill in the square by clicking on File and then Page Settings. Here, file and Page Settings. It is the icon with the page and the two vertical and horizontal double sided intersecting arrows with a square in the lower right corner. You can easily fill in the date by just clicking on these three arrows. It transfers the date into the issue uh, date box. Then you can uh, give the, your drawing a, a, a title. Let's give it a title like Switching Regulator Controller 12 PC to 3.3 volt DC. Click OK. You can see now your title appears in the box on the lower right hand corner. I can just zoom in a bit for you. You can see it. There we are. There we are. And then zoom out again. Okay, now let's start placing symbols. Click on the place symbol icon, which is the icon with the op amp on the right vertical bar. Uh, yeah, be careful. Do not uh, do not use this icon. This is used for something else. It is used to for creating, deleting, and editing. Uh, symbols. As I say, uh, click on the place symbol icon, click in the drawing sheet in the main window. Another window opens with a heading choose symbol with uh, with there is a written filter, type in LTC, a bit slow, come on, 1, 6, 2, 4, choose LTC 1624CS. Eight, high efficiency in channel switching regulator controller. Click OK. Now you can place the, your symbol on the drawing sheet. There we go. We can zoom in a bit. We can a bit of you. There we are. Click Save. We are now going to place the capacitors. Click on the Place Symbol icon, which is the icon with the op amp in the right vertical bar of icons in the main window. Click on the drawing sheet. Uh, a choose symbol. Window opens. Uh, there, where it's written, filter type in C. Now, according to the, the LT Spice drawing, C5 is an unpolarized capacitor of a thousand uh, picofarad. 
choose C on polarized capacitor. Click OK. Left click in the main window to place the 1000 picofarad capacitor so that it corresponds with the position of C5 in the LT spy circuit. Just to make sure where it was in the circuit, just take a look at that LT spy circuit. In this case, C5 is over here, 1000 picofarad on to the left top of LTC1624. Can zoom in a bit like so, and uh, move C5 more or less over here. Okay. Now right click on C5, click on properties and then on the edit value field. And, uh, okay, instead of the C type a thousand picofarad. Click OK. Um, and now click Save. Okay, now let's do C3, 470 picofarad according to the L Spice, LT Spice drawing. Um, Let's uh, click on the play symbol, click once again in the field, choose unpolarized, see unpolarized capacitor, click OK. Now this must correspond with C3. And C3. Just see where it was. Where it is according to the drawing. Oh yeah, C3 is here. Um, right next to the LTC1624 uh, middle pin on the left. Okay, so what we should do here is right click on this. Oh, no, sorry. Nice. Now right click, then orientation, and then rotate clockwise. There we are. So we can move that more or less over there. Just to make it more clear. Select right click. There we are. Right. So now we must once again right click on this and then 
um, properties edit value and then we sh should type 470 to farad in the uh, text of the edit value field click ok click save and now c2 is a 100 picofrat is also a, a unpolarized capacitor once again select the place symbol click in the in the drawing once again choose C unpolarized capacitor click OK and this one is C2 not sure where this one is we'll just take a look um, C2 oh C2 is over here next to the lower left pin of LTC1624 okay so we can select that move C2 to over here and once again we can right click and drop once again select the property and then edit value and we type in 100 go for click ok click and click save there we are This is enough for now. In the next video, we will look at the placing of more symbols. Thank you for watching. If you have a question or a, or a comment, post it below. Goodbye.